uh, I was doing some yard work and I had to climb a fence and um, one, uh, one foot slipped and I, I grabbed the hold really hard and it, it jerked my arm and I, I actually felt it. I, I kind of heard a slight popping noise. Douglas came to CDI in Kirkland for a look at the torn tendon of his right biceps. T today was to get the MRI because before the surgeon can set up the surgery, he's, he's got to have the, the pictures from the MRI. Your doctor's actually getting more than pictures. The radiologist gives a diagnostic read of what they see. And the more they see of a certain type of image, the better the diagnosis. It's like having more practice, and it's called subspecialized. Uh, I'm a neuroradiologist. When you s choose one area to specialize in, then that's all you do. So I look at brains and spines and head and neck pictures. So instead of looking today at breasts and tomorrow at bones and the next day at heads, I look at heads. At CDI, 85% of the cases the radiologists read are within their specialty. A general radiologist at another imaging group or hospital looks at a fraction of those specialized cases. All the radiologists at CDI are subspecialized to one degree or another, uh, and so we concentrate on one thing and that's what we do. For patients, that means there's a lot of skill and expertise behind every diagnostic read. It would be like if you had a, some sort of blood disorder, you had the option to go to a, an internist or a hematologist, I mean, who would you go to?